That's amazing. It's so, so cool Gavin uh, was able to come here and, and visit. I didn't, you guys keep a really good secret. <laughs> Holy cow, I had no idea, and that was uh, very special for me. And, um, you know, usually this is the point that I, I congratulate the champion. Um, and, you know, I want to continue that trend tonight by congratulating my champion, Roger Penske. Uh, what an amazing year, amazing person you are. Uh, you listed off some of the the wins that you had, but you know, with, with Brad winning the Brickyard 400, I know how big that was. The Southern 500, 17 Indianapolis 500s, oh my goodness. Uh, the Supercar Championship, your 500th team victory, and this Cup Championship. Uh, needless to say, you're a Hall of Famer, and I can't wait to see you get inducted into this Hall of Fame here in a few weeks. Uh, one of my favorite parts about Roger Penske is the believer in people, and, and he believes in surrounding himself with elite people, and he starts that with Kathy. Uh, Kathy, we love having you at the racetrack. It's so much fun to, to see you there, the support that you not only give Roger, but you give our race team goes a mile, uh, so thank you for that. Um, to Walt Zarnicke, uh, you know, I consider you such a, a great friend of mine, and for Brittany, we lean on you so much, uh, not only for racing, but uh, so many other things in life, and that, that goes a mile for me, so thank you. Um, to Tim Sendrick, Michael Nelson, and Travis Geisler, and you guys do an amazing job leading our, our 500 Team Penske employees. It's uh, I mean, a, a, a huge job, and, uh, and thank you for bringing you know, the cars to the racetrack and, and making them the best at the end of the season when it really mattered. Um, you guys really raised your game. Uh, Todd Gordon, I don't envy your job at all. Uh, <laughs> you got maybe one of the hardest jobs. I think the crew chief role is, is very challenging here, and uh, you know, your effort and dedication to our race team is, is second to none. Um, you know, to be able to bounce back from missing the playoffs, we weren't even here last year, uh, to winning the championship, that takes a great leader. Uh, and so congratulations and thank you for, for doing that. Um, to my team, where, where are you guys at? Oh, they're way back there, there they are. They're pumped. You know, to me, uh, you know, an athlete is, is defined by someone that can raise their game under, under pressure. And I'm not just talking about our pit crew, I'm talking about our road crew as well. Uh, these guys are able to make changes during practice and get our cars ready before we get to the racetrack and, and be precise and be on their game all, all day. It's uh, incredible what you guys do. And our pit crew, obviously, man, you guys, uh, you know, I think of Martinsville and Miami, uh, the pressure that's on you guys. And, and we won those races because of you. So uh, congratulations, you'd be proud of yourself. Uh, yeah, they, they deserve a round of applause. To Doug Yates, Roush Yates Motors, wow, we, way to deliver when it mattered the most as well. Uh, we pushed those motors really hard, um, and congratulations on not only this championship, but the Manufacturer's Championship for Ford. Um, you know, the effort that, that Ford puts into this, this program is, is amazing and, and nothing short of uh, incredible. That, and uh, I'm so proud to drive a Ford, and I really can't wait to drive that Mustang next year. Um, I want to thank my teammates, you know, Brad and, and Blaney and, and Paul Menard as well. Uh, you guys challenge me every day to be a better driver, but not only a better driver, but a better person too. Uh, and, and I thank you for that a, a lot. Um, obviously, none of this is, is possible without great partners. And when I think of what Bud Danker and Jonathan Gibson are able to do, uh, they are the best at putting long-term partnerships together. Uh, and it, it starts with Shell Penzel for me. Uh, you guys have taken a huge chance uh, on a driver that was out of a ride. I had nowhere to go, and uh, this, was, this was a great place for me, and, and, um, and I'm forever grateful for that. Uh, to AAA, Auto Trader, AutoZone, Snap-on, Discount Tire, I know Michael Swiebeck's here tonight. Um, wheels up, we had a new passenger with Hudson this year, so thanks for being the safest way to get to the track. Uh, Pulsar, uh, Planet Fitness, and uh, Coca-Cola and Wiley X, you guys have been there with me for 10 years since the beginning of my cup career. Uh, and, and some of the best parts, I think, about these relationships is that they're authentic uh, to who I am. And even better, the relationships that we're able to grow that will uh, far surpass my racing career uh, that I'm able to take into the rest of my life. Um, to Clutch Management, uh, you guys are the glue. You, you hold this all together for me. I uh, appreciate the, the, the support and giving us the tools to make the most out of every opportunity. Uh, to the NASCAR fans, love me or hate me, I just love your passion. Uh, and that's, yes, that is one of the biggest things for, for me is, is passion and to see that, you know, whether you're booing or cheering, it's pretty good. We all do it for you guys. Uh, most importantly to me, though, my family. Mom, Dad, Danielle, uh, man, who would have, 
Who would have thought, 23 years ago, Santa Claus brought me a go-kart. And uh, who would ever thought that we'd be here on the championship table? It's incredible. Um, to Ray and Michelle, my in-laws, I mean, you guys uh, support us every week uh, when we're on the road. We appreciate that. Um, to Brittany, man, she is my rock. She's, uh, I knew this is when I was going to have a hard time, but <laughs> family means a lot to me, all right? Uh, we have so many long talks at night, and, and I'm not always smiling. I, I know it looks like I smile a lot, and I, and I do, but I'm, I'm happy. But she's there at my lowest points. That really brings me back up, and she's an amazing mother uh, to our child. And what an amazing year uh, to be able to have Hudson now, and, and now a championship. I, I would trade all this in a heartbeat, but the great part is we don't have to. So <laughs> that's pretty special. I'm going to give my wife a round of applause. She, she puts up with a lot. <laughs> uh, lastly, I want to thank NASCAR uh, for everything you guys do and my competitors. I know I've made a lot of mistakes on and off the racetrack, but God's given me an amazing opportunity for it to learn from each one and teaching me what it's like to have a second chance in life. And that's why we started the Joey Logano Foundation. It was to give second chances to children and young adults at times of crisis. And the other part of our mission, which is maybe even more important, is to inspire others to live a life of generosity. I talk about how uh, our sport gives us such a large stage to make a difference. Uh, and here I am, standing on the largest stage in NASCAR. Um, so I need to use this moment to challenge all of us uh, and inspire all of us to to be the change. I know so many of us already do so many things. So whether that's giving to your cause, our cause, or, or donating your time this holiday season, let's just remember that life is so much more than what we see here tonight. Uh, so I want to thank uh, the racing community for all you've done for not just me, but for countless others. And I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Let's have some fun tonight.